welcome to Drew in the Moment. It is St. Patrick's Day right now. We're in Magic Kingdom. We're here to see crowds, see how the crowds are on St. Patty's Day. Get a treat, maybe a bevy. I don't know. We'll have to see what, uh, what's going to happen, but you have to keep watching the video. Yeah, look, we got a people, like people over here. Look at that. They're all green. It's a green day. Well, let's go St. Patty's Day it up around Magic Kingdom. Let's go. Let's do it. Now, of course, the, the flowers are beautiful, but they're not green. But there is green in there, right, Queen? Yes. <laughs> there is some green, and I half expected Disney to go all out and paint the castle green. But I guess maybe in editing you could do that. <laughs> but it's still pretty. Even though it's not green, it's still pretty. Look at Queen. She's like, where are we going to go? Check it out. Let's see the the confectionery. Let's see if they have any, I don't know, St. Paddy's Day type, type offerings. I think they do. They share. So for St. Paddy's Day, they had these, uh, you know, a week ago. You got your Rice Krispie Treat. Those look pretty good, though, Queen. You love your Rice Krispie love Treat. It. This one is $6.49. $6.49. Candy apples are... $12.99 if you got to be a big spender on them apples. So this is about it. They had in the confectionery, but hey, it's something for St. Patty's. That's something. This is a closer one. We find for St. Patty's Day. Yeah, it's green. It's pretty much anything green we find. Well, what were, it was an avocado bagel, I think, with a. Uh, yeah, avocado bagel with an egg. It's not St. Patty's. But it's not St. Patty's Day without eating avocado bagels with an egg on it. So far, we've been walking around. First of all, I gotta say, a lot of people wearing green. I'm really happy about that. Uh, they, they're embracing the holiday. But the crowds, believe it or not, I know it looks a little busy up here, but I don't feel like it's as busy. No, it's not as, busy. No, not as other days. So I don't know if people are coming later or they decided to go other places. I'm not sure. So like we said, we're gonna we're gonna tell you guys like you know how the crowd level goes. 20 minutes for the lap floor, not terrible, not terrible so far. The real question is, is the people mover backed up? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It rarely is a you know super huge line. So Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin, 55 minutes. Uh, you know, that's a little elevated. The Tron is not officially open yet. Not officially open yet, right over yonder. But they do have a new cool sign up for the store. Look at this thing, man. Oh, that looks awesome. My first time seeing it, and probably some of you as well. The Tomorrowland launch depot because that thing tron launches you man i think it looks good i can't wait for this to be open so i can go in and check out all of the cool merch right now this is the real telltale because we're going to go over to joffrey's and see how that line is oh, it's, scary. it's scary the joffrey's line for some reason well i know why because they make amazing coffee it just keeps getting bigger and bigger every time i come so hopefully it won't be too too big because we do need a coffee. This will tell us how busy the park is, at least in our opinion. So here it is. We got to get in line because we need to get ourselves a bevy. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than normal. Um, so we'll see how fast how fast the line actually moves. But if you really need to revive yourself, this is where you do it. So we got our beautiful Joffrey's bevy here. We found a nice little spot here on the grass because it's green for St. Paddy's Day. 
I wanted to give you a little view of the castle back there, but we ended up getting an iced coffee with Irish cream and a little bit of milk. Because we wanted to, you know, kind of get that St. Paddy's Day vibe going on. So guys, cheers, pros, salute, cilantro. And honestly, to having the luck of the Irish today and for, you know, forever basically. Just keep that luck of the Irish with you. Cheers, everybody. That is a fantastic bevy. Oh man, is that good. Oh. I'm having the luck of the Irish today just by get, you know ordering this and getting a wonderful, wonderful bevy. Oh, Queen's gonna have to try it now. So Queen is gonna taste the bevy. Oh my gosh, it's good. Is that good? That's very, very Irish creamy, isn't it? I love Irish creamy. I love coffee. It's good. So we got the high school marching band guys, Pontiac Township High School Marching Band. I love, I love it when they have uh, school marching bands come in. Such an awesome thing for them. That has got to be one of the most spectacular things for these kids to be like, I got to march down Magic Kingdom in the marching band, you know, with the crowd going wild. Such a cool thing, man. I never got to do it. I was in marching band years ago, um, but that's just amazing. I'm, I'm so happy for them. I saw they, they take it very seriously, man, but I know inside they're having a great time. You know, they're smiling all, all the way through. We have made it to Storybook Circus. We're gonna go check out their desserts. We're hoping to find some more, you know, Irish St. Paddy's Day something. I think regardless though, we're gonna get a dessert to try. One that we've never gotten before. And, and give you guys our honest review. So let's go into Big Top Souvenirs that not only has souvenirs, but they have really, really yummy goodies. Yummy! Unfortunately, there is no St. Paddy's Day. There's like nothing that's green, except for that pineapple cookie with a little bit of green on it. So we might end up having to go back to the uh, confectionery and grab that Rice Krispie Treat. There's nothing St. Paddy's Day. <laughs> So guys, I figured it out. I figured it out. We're gonna go get a pickle. A pickle? We're gonna get a pickle. I know it's not pickle day, but the pickles are green. <laughs> That's close enough, and it's just an excuse for me to get a pickle. I know National Pickle Day is not till November, but I'm making an, an exception today. Let's go get a pickle. Let's Come on. Get a pickle. Oh my! It's just right there. <laughs> so we're at Prince Eric's Village Market. They sell. This is the place to be in St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> this is the place to be for sure. They have pickles in a bag, two twenty-nine. They actually raised it twenty-nine cents because it used to be a dollar ninety-nine, and I know that because I've gotten here. But for anybody that enjoys the awesomeness of pickles, you can't miss out on this. It is refreshing. She doesn't like pickles by any standard. I do, and they're very refreshing. I'm telling you, it's worth the two twenty-nine. I will tell you what's crazy though. Any other day that I walk by this marketplace, there's nobody in line. The day that I decided to get a pickle, I realized everybody else had the same idea. They all are here for the pickles. And here they are, guys. The wonderfully enhanced cucumbers called a pickle in a bag. I mean, come on now. It's magic. It is magic. And they're on ice. They are so excited about the pickle, I'm telling you. And I want you guys to know, these are words of wisdom here. 
once the cucumber has turned into the pickle, it can never be a cucumber again. Just remember that. Remember that. Those are wise words. And I did want to tell you, another woman in line was also buying a pickle. So then I asked the cast member, I said, how many pickles do you sell a lot? He said already today, they went through five cases of pickles. That is insane. That was Interesting. Good. Well, and yeah. what they said is their theory is that people um, get the um, turkey leg there, and he thinks that they eat the pickle with the turkey leg. Happy St. Patty's Day. Here we go. Mm. Woo! Woo! <laughs> it's pickle time. But these are really refreshing. Cheap snack. Have a bite. I thought just because we're right near uh, we got a Little Mermaid ride, we were going to go in about 45 minutes. It's quite a long wait. So I, I, I think a lot of rides today uh, are going to be elevated. But this is a great ride. 45 minutes is just a little too long to wait for that particular ride. But if you are near Gaston's, get a pickle. No. Uh, <laughs> You got to get their LeFou's brew and the cinnamon roll. Phenomenal. So we got the bottleneck here in Magic Kingdom. Peter Pan to your left and a very long looking line to the right for Small World, which I can't wait to see what the wait time is for that. 90 minutes for Peter Pan. 90 for Peter Pan. Wow. That's crazy. Well, let's see what the Small World is. Small World is 50 minutes. That's a long wait. I, I mean, I love Small World, but 50 minutes, that's that's a bit much. It is busy. I guess it's busier than we, than we thought initially. So we just turned over and we have the parade, the three o'clock parade right now. And we noticed one of the floats is down. See, you got Belle walking around. You got Cinderella just, you know, mingling with the crowd, which is kind of cool. Yeah, like talking and they can get closer. Look at this. This is a mic. That's awesome. That's amazing. Only thing is the beast is not with Belle because the beast has a tough time walking long distances. You know, he gets he gets windy. Oh wow! I've never seen this before though. They always have the sad music playing, you know, right we near <laughs> Splash Mountain. Yeah, and they are just going to town with it. A lot of uh, a lot of construction going on right now. But like we said before, we're we're super excited to see the new retheming and see you know see how fun that'll be. So Queen V, you know what says St. Patrick's Day? Riding the train. Oh, yes. <laughs> we could try the train. Uh, try the Let's train. try the train Let's and then we can the ride train. the train. Let's go, ride the train. Let's go do it. Let's go catch it. Let's go catch that train. Where are we gonna stop? I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see when we get there. So we're gonna catch the train over here in Frontierland and it's just almost like a nice excuse to walk back here, you know? To enjoy the good old days. So Queen just looked across the way and the Splash Mountain sign is no longer there. Womp womp womp. It, it is. It's it's like a ghost town over there. But the cast member told us that a train is coming. We have a green train today. So that is cool. And it's their youngest. And I think he called it uh, Lily Bell is the name of the train that we are going to be taking. Here comes the St. Patty's Day train, everybody! Oh, 
Our train hath arrived. Here we go. Little train ride on the Lily Bell. Toot, toot. Queen enjoying, enjoying the train ride. Look at that view. Looks awesome. I love riding the train, don't you? It's super fun. We're in uh, the Storybook Circus. Storybook Circus, taking a break. Yes, but we're going to head to the front and we're going to see a little bit of that Tron area in just a moment. Chipping down right there. Ch -ch -ch Chipping to you. Oh uh, yeah, look at Tron. Now programming. I love this songbird. Here we go, going in the Tron tunnel. <laughs> Here we are. We made it to the front. Main Street USA. Obviously, this is Main Street USA. But look, there's like nobody coming in today. I guess everybody already made it to the uh, made it into the park. All right, guys, that is going to do it for our St. Patty's Day journey to Magic Kingdom. They didn't have a bunch of stuff going on, but we still were embracing the holiday here. Um, a few items. I, what I really wish, I wish they'd have characters dressed up in a little bit of green, just a little something. Something, but you know, hey, you win some, you lose some. Uh, earlier today, we were actually over at Disney Springs where they have a thing called the Mighty Festival uh, at Raglan Road. It was awesome. We did a live stream. So at the end of this video, somewhere around here, there's that video if you want to check it out. We had a great time over there. We had a, we had a good time, good eats and uh, just a, a, a good way to spend St. Patty's Day. But we want to thank you guys for watching the, uh, watching the video. We hope you consider subscribing to our channel. We have a lot of fun here. And uh, guys, until we see you next time, remember, there's only one way to live. In the moment. In the moment on St. Patty's Day. Magic Woo, and Magic Kingdom.